Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to explain the bind method within JavaScript. So with bind, it's actually quite straightforward. All you're doing is you are binding an object to a function and then you are referencing that object using the this keyword. So there's two steps. First, you bind object to a function and then you reference it using this. Okay, so to show this, I'm going to create two objects and a function. So down here, let's create two fresh object literals. All right, these will be two objects representing an x, y coordinate. All right, so we'll say, okay, make a new variable and we'll call this one c1 coordinate one equal to an object literal. All right, we'll have two properties x something like 5, and then y, 10. Okay, we'll do the same thing for a second object, c2. All right, c2 is going to have x equal to something like, I don't know, 75, and y equal to something like 235. All right, so now we're going to create a function that's going to print out uh, basically just the x, y coordinate but we can use this function for both of these um, objects without using an argument. So we can do this using the bind method. Let's define that function. So we'll say, okay, function, and then something like print coordinates. Okay. And then this will take, as I said, no arguments or no parameters. Inside here, it's going to simply just console.log. All right, it's going to log out this.x and then a comma and then this.y. Okay, now, right now, this doesn't mean too much, um, so we're going to bind one of these objects to this function and then call it so it all works nice and smoothly. So down here, let's create a new variable, which will be uh, essentially an instance, I guess, of this function. So down here, let's say, okay, let's c1 underscore func, so c1's function, all right, equal to print coordinates, but I'm not actually going to call this method or this function. I'm just going to say print coordinates and then I'm going to put a dot and then dot bind. Inside bind, I'm going to pass in C1. All right. So now with this, we've created a new function, I guess, using this one. All right. And I've passed in C1 to the bind method, which means that when I say this now, I actually mean C1. So it's like saying C1.x and then C1.y. So if I then C1.fun, if I call this function now, all right, and save this one, refresh the browser, we should see we get 5, 10, perfect. All right, that was the values for C1. And we can do the same thing for C2. So I'll say, okay, c2 underscore func. All right, just like that. And then we can call the c2 func. So if I save this one, we should now see 75 and 235 in the console. And we do right there, okay? So we are firstly binding an object to a function. So like including it to a function and then referencing it using the this keyword. So essentially, this is going to change depending on the context, right? depending on the bind argument. Okay, so if I were to log out, instead of the uh, coordinates, if I was to say, okay, just console.log this by itself, we now should see the objects in the console. Refresh, and we get that right there. So you can see how it actually works behind the scenes. Now, what if I was to get rid of, well, first off, let's make this back to normal. So we'll uncomment this. Now, what if I was to comment these out 
and then call the print coordinates function without giving um, the bind method and an argument. What if I was to say, okay, boom, print coordinates. If I save this one and then refresh the browser, what do we get? Undefined and then undefined. Now this is happening because we haven't given a um, a binding object to this function. But actually, it's binding to the window object. This is in the outer scope, which means when I say print coordinates without passing bind, I'm referring to the window object. Okay, so if I was to um, once again log out, console.log, and then just say this, all right, we now should see window. Save this one, and then refresh, and we get that right there, the global window object, all right? If I was to put this back to normal once again, and then declare some, some X and Y coordinates inside the window object, we should see the same result. So I'll say window.x equals something like 65, window.y equals 300, we should now see that we get those values in the console. I'll refresh right here, 65 and 300. Perfect. All right. So one more time, with bind, we are firstly binding an object to a function. We're saying, okay, use this object in your function, and then we can use that object using the this keyword. So this is going to change dynamically depending on what you have binded to that actual function. All right. And that is how you can use the bind method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.